shooting. Donovan Mitchell, another fantastic evening. 33 points, nine assists. The Lakers had a season high shooting game Wednesday against Detroit. 48 hours later, their worst. And again, no LeBron James for at least the next two games as the Lakers drop to 23 and 20. Coming up next, NBA after the buzzer with Michelle Beadle and the crew. For Jeff Van Gundy, I'm Dave Pash. So long from Salt Lake City, where Donovan Mitchell went off at an incredible block. Posterized JaVale McGee on his way to 33 points. Good night from Salt Lake. NBA After the Buzzer is next. Welcome to NBA After the Buzzer, presented by McDonald's. Welcome inside Studio H in Los Angeles with John C. Billups and Paul Pierce. My name is Michelle Beadle. Donovan Mitchell. By the way, Utah above 500, and you're going to hear about this probably for the remainder of the season, but they had a really hard schedule, and now they're going to have a nice, easier schedule. Yes. Things might get interesting, but Donovan Mitchell finishes with 33 and 9. What do you think about that, young man? How about that? Top three-point guards out. They're starting two guard, Donovan Mitchell, who's really their best point guard. Gets to make plays all night, not worry about coming out of the game. He got in a rhythm early on. He got to the basket. He orchestrated for the big fella. He got guys three-point shots. He knocked down threes of his own. This is the Donovan Mitchell hmm. that we thought we would see all season this season. Yeah. And he's been a little up and down, but this is that guy we thought we'd see. And we thought, I know coming into the season, I said, this dude's definitely going to be an all-star. Well, a lot of it had to do like you said, with the tough schedule. I mean, they play more road games than anybody else, and everybody knows it's tougher to play on the road than at home, but it looks like he's starting to get into his rhythm. And the Utah Jazz are going to have a light schedule for the second half, which may push them into the playoffs. Because, I mean, before the season, I thought they would be a for-sure shot playoff team. But there's so many good teams in the Western Conference, it's hard to say. If they're going to get in, who's coming out? Yeah. Well, the Lakers, if you're going to do it right now. But he also had a moment on JaVel McGee, the dunk. Oh. The wow. dunk. I don't, what must this be like? Oh. This feeling. This is shades of yeah. oh, Dwayne Wade. And that's yeah, who is. he looks like to me every time I watch him play. You I'm know, proud of you, Paul. I thought you was going to say he played like you. <laughs> I, you know what? It's coming. Really proud of you. still have a few minutes left. <laughs> it is. I could watch oh, that a thousand nice. times, and I'm sure I mean, he will. He's an explosive guard. He can shoot the three. There's nothing he can't do out there. I mean, he handles. He can pass. He's explosive. He can do interviews. Uh, I, mean, I love his game. Which he's doing right now with Dave Pash. Dave Pash with Donovan Mitchell. Donovan, 33 points, two straight games, four straight games of 25 or more. Longest stretch of your career. What's really working for you offensively right now? Just reading the defense, you know, I've been, obviously we have guys out, you know, with three-point guards out, so I had to take the role and, you know, just trying to find ways to keep reading and getting better, man, and, you know, just believing in, in my shot and my reads and, and not really thinking too much. You had nine assists. What was your mindset knowing that you'd have to take on that role of point guard? I understood they were going to, you know, try and stop me from scoring, which may, may allow me to make those reads. But when you got guys like Royce, you know, George, Joe, uh, Rudy, all those guys hitting shots and capable players, you know, that, that's... That's what, that's what it's all about, man. They have my back, and they were, they were there to knock all the shots down. You guys have, have played the toughest schedule in the league to date. You have a stretch, including tonight, seven of the next eight at home. And this is about the time you guys got going last year. What do you think will be, be the key here during this two-week stretch? Just keep playing defense. I think that's what really turned it up for us. You know, as long as we keep going around Big Fella, you know, I think having him back there is a lot. It helps a lot, so it allows us to get in transition and make reads and, and push and knock down shots. All right, Donovan, thanks. Man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Seven of the next eight at home. That's nice. And there you go. His first 35 games versus his last four. And as you can see, the trend is going upwards. And I, if I was a betting woman, I would assume this is going to continue in that direction. Yeah? It has to. I think it will. I think I so, think too. it will. I mean, he'll, you know, anytime you get that confidence, you ride that wave. Seven of eight at home. He'll continue. Now, he won't keep shooting 56 from three. Well, but or will he? Falling. Coming up, Sixers lost to the Hawks. Wait to hear what they're saying in the Philly locker room. Ugh.